Little People Big World is about to welcome another little person, but it won't be easy. As previously announced, the popular TLC reality show returns with new episodes on Tuesday, November 1st. And now, as previewed in an extended trailer first posted by People magazine, we can confirm that at least one significant development that will be featured this fall will center around Tori Roloff giving birth. To be specific, the promo chronicles the moment Tori and Zack head to the hospital after the former's water breaks, while it also reveals to viewers that the mother of three required very serious surgery. In an hour and a half, I'm gonna have major abdominal surgery. I'm pretty ready to get this kid out of me, Tori says while sitting in a hospital bed. The footage then depicts Rolla flying down during the procedure as she nervously repeats oh my gosh, over and over and over again. Yikes, huh? As we know now, of course, Tori thankfully came out of the C-section just fine, and her second son came out of it as a total cutie patootie. Welcome to the world, sweet Josiah Luke. The Roloffs posted on Instagram in late April alongside a video of their newborn napping, adding of the newborn at the time. You surprised us all by coming early, but also the wait felt like a lifetime. Best birthday present ever. Elsewhere in the trailer, meanwhile, young Josiah is seen hanging out with the rest of the family, including Tori and Zack's other children, daughter Lila and son Jackson, as well as Matt Roloff, Amy Roloff and her husband Chris Merrick. Everyone's met Josiah, but we don't have plans for Karen to meet Josiah, Zack admits in a confessional about Matt's girlfriend Karen Chandler. Like they still think they did nothing wrong. This is a reference, of course, to Matt's decision to sell the farm and to Karen's alleged role in pushing him to do so. Karen tells other people that she's waiting for our olive branch, Tori adds in a confessional alongside her spouse. That olive branch? The dove took it to another island, I don't know. Tension has been high between Matt and his kids for a while now. In a shocking rebuke, Zack called his dad out as a coward and a manipulator this May after Matt tried to argue that he gave his sons a chance to purchase the property before anyone else. My dad is manipulating the narrative, Zack said back then. As for what lies ahead, let me just remind you of the synopsis. The Roloff family faces uncertain times. Many hurt feelings remain over Matt's decision to sell the north side of the farm, and the waiting game begins on whether Matt can find a buyer. Zack and Tori are settling nicely into their new house in Washington, but there's no time to relax because baby number three shakes things up by coming early. Zack and Tori are now outnumbered and will have to adjust to life with three kids. Matt puts his dream house into overdrive because his plan is still to marry Karen and move in and enjoy his retirement. Amy and Chris are loving their first year of married life but find themselves caught in the middle of a cold war between Matt and Zack's family. Will Matt and Zack's rift heal so that the Roloff clan can come together? Like this video for this to quickly happen, subscribe if you think that they were doing it just for the show, and thanks for watching!